Hello, and welcome to the 2023 International Clarinet Association New Music Weekend. We're so glad that you joined us. I'm Thomas Piercy, Chair of the New Music Committee, and this committee has planned a great weekend of new music events, including composer-performer workshops, new music technique clinics, new music performances of music for solo clarinet, clarinet and piano, clarinet and electronics, pieces with clarinet and traditional Japanese instruments, pieces for bass clarinet, multiple bass clarinets, and music for eight clarinets, and live conversations with some of our most esteemed new music pioneers. In 2024, we're hoping to host this festival in person. You can go to clarinet.org to keep up to date on the new music activities and all the other great activities that the ICA sponsors. Special thanks to Jessica Harry, the ICA Executive Director, for coordinating the live events you'll be seeing this weekend, and to the New Music Committee for organizing this great weekend that celebrates the new in clarinet music. I also thank the ICA for their continued support of new music and what the New Music Committee has been doing over the past few years. Now I'd like to turn this over to members of the New Music Committee as they will tell you a bit more about the activities of the committee and how you can be involved. We hope you'll be interested in these activities and join us in the exciting and important world of new music. Hi, my name is Daniel Dorf, and I'm excited to tell you about competitions run by the ICA's New Music Committee. Aside from the competitive submission process to present in the annual New Music Weekend, we also curate the Low Clarinets Composition competition which Stephanie Gardner will talk about also today. The ICA's main competition has grown over the years, and we now typically get about 300 entries per season. Everyone is eligible, all ages, living anywhere in the world. This event is actually a pair of competitions, one for solo clarinet repertoire and one for chamber music. The competition for new solos is open for music for either B flat or A clarinet, and that can be alone or with piano or with media. Submitted works for the coming year must have been composed in 2021 or later with a duration between five and 15 minutes. The winner receives the double prize of $1,000 plus a performance at Clarinet Fest. Hi, I'm Stephanie Gardner, member of the New Music Committee and Artistic Director for the ICA Low Clarinet Festival. Our committee came up with the idea to host an ICA Low Clarinet Festival in 2021. It was Danny Dorf's brilliant idea to have the inaugural Low Clarinet Fest. And in 2023, we had over 275 low clarinet specialists and enthusiasts from all over the world in Glendale, Arizona. I'm very excited to announce the 2025 dates. We will host another Low Clarinet Festival January 8 through 11, 2025 in Glendale, Arizona at Glendale Community College. In addition to the composition competition, we will also have a Low Clarinet Young Artists competition. Check out the ICA website for more details. Greetings, Chris Nichols from the New Music Committee here. Thanks so much for joining us for New Music Weekend. In celebration of the 50th anniversary of the ICA, we hosted a consortium accessible to students and clarinetists of all incomes. The composer the committee selected was Margaret Brower, who provided all consortium members a score by December 1st, 2022 for a collective world premiere date of April 1st, 2023. Many commissions and consortiums are too expensive for students or freelancers to participate. Fortunately, ICA was willing to back this project and we were able to make participation in a consortium affordable to everyone. This piece was performed by Thomas Piercy, our New Music Committee Chair, at the 2023 Clarinet Fest in Denver this past summer. Please stay tuned for future opportunities to participate in ICA consortiums. Have a great weekend. For our Composer of the Month series, members of the New Music Committee conduct interviews with a wide range of composers from around the world. These interviews and articles are shared with the IC membership and to the general public. 
It has been great to find out more about these composers in their own voices and not just the information easily available on their websites. One of the important discussions to me has been to read about how to play their music. Our commitment to highlighting marginalized composers has significantly expanded the clarinet community's exposure to a wide variety of musical voices. So look them up and play their music. Hello, I'm Jason Alder, and I'd like to tell you about the New Music Committee's Lunch and Learn series. We started a free educational lunch and learn series where the first half of the session is spent demonstrating and teaching an extended technique, which is recorded for YouTube and for educators to use. And the second half of the lesson is spent in breakout rooms with clarinet participants from all over the world workshopping the new technique. Some of the lunch and learn session topics that we have had or are planning to have include circular breathing, multiphonics and voicing, quarter tones, double tonguing, slat tonguing, glissando and pitch bending, and flutter tongue, growling, and singing while playing. We also host live composer interviews and discussions on preparing particular new works for clarinet, such as Ned Roram's Clarinet Music, Three Smiles for Tracy by Adolphus Hale Sork, and Germaine Tefer's Sonata. And other important topics for today's musicians, such as mentoring, collaborative processes, recording and performance rights, copyright, and introduction to composing for clarinetists. So we hope to see you at a future Lunch and Learn. I'd now like to tell you about the repertoire database the New Music Committee is working on developing. Currently, we are building a global database with an emphasis on diversity for the ICA's website. This will be an extensive database containing a large number of works for and with the clarinet. People will be able to go to this database to discover new composers from all over the world using a robust set of search parameters. And now let's get the weekend started.